Today we're going to do an unboxing video on a Lasco ceramic heater that we picked up at Walmart for $50. This was on sale, 10 bucks off. Um, it's a pedestal heater. Hope you like my knife. It has a te um, uh, temperature, automatic temperature control. Um, it's got a high and low setting, which I believe is um, 900 watts and 1500 watts are the two different settings. We just picked this up to take the chill out of the room, you know. So, a piece of the pedestal. In the part of the pedestal. Get a remote control. There's your pedestal. And there's a ceramic heater. It looks like there's some small assembly required. Let's take a look. Well, not really. These two things just sort of slide into the grooves. Just like that. Yep, there are some screws that have to be screwed in the bottom. So you line it up groove to groove. So we're going to show you how to assemble this Lasco heater while we've got that box open. So you see the bottom here, we've got your power cable extruding out of the bottom and four um, receptacles for screws and they give you a package of eight. Four for here and four to secure the base to the bottom. Then you make sure to line up the key and then you'll see, uh, it'll line up on the bottom. So we're going to go ahead and um, first off though, you must, before you do that, is to feed the electric power cable through this housing first, okay? With the marker here, the little uh, indentation. And it fits just like that. So we're going to go ahead and screw it together. Okay, so we've taken the liberty of securing the top of the pedestal to the heating unit itself. Now, we must do one more final thing and feed the power cable again to the base. Line up the spot here with the groove here so that you're locked in. There you go. Go ahead and we're going to screw these four screws in here. And we'll show you what to do with the power cable. Okay, now we've secured the pedestal. And the final thing is just to take the power cable and then run it through the little groove here. And then there's a little clip under here. I'm going to slide it under and out. And now they're all set to plug it in and give it a try. So we're going to do that in a second. We're going to power up the remote control and see how much heat it puts. So we've gone ahead and put the um, AAA batteries into the Lasco remote for the heater. So we're going to give it a try. See if we can get it to turn on. Yep, just push the temperature button up. We've got it at 75. There's also a timer feature. Uh, and with the automatic temperature control, it will shut off at a certain temp. You set it there. And then you've got a high and low button right there. So that's high. You can also set it to oscillate. So there we go, it's going to slowly rotate side to side. It's actually throwing out a fair amount of heat. 
So we just got this to uh, take the chill out of the room, obviously. It's not a replacement for a home heater, but if the power goes out, we have a generator. We could plug this in for a while, heat up the room. Uh, for 50 bucks, it's a good little heater. So far, so good. We'll see how long it lasts. Um, so the remote works. You can oscillate from the remote. You can set the timer with this one. This is your on and off button. This is your high and low button. This is your plus and minus for temperature control. That's it. The ceramic heater, 50 bucks, good deal. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Thanks for watching.